Hi there, my name is Ron, I am 26 years old, and this will be my video blog, or blog as the cool kids call it, chronicling my journey as I have double jaw surgery. I'm going to affectionately be calling this series, Fixing My Bite. Ideally I would have started recording this series two years ago when I first had my braces put on, but oh well. So why am I having this surgery? Well, a few reasons. When I first consulted with my orthodontist two years ago, like before I even had the braces put on, he gave me basically two options. Uh, braces plus jaw surgery, or braces without jaw surgery. Kind of straightforward. Uh, but he told me that if I did not have the jaw surgery, it would be hard to get a, a good bite, a good final bite uh, out of the process. And that is because I have a slight underbite, meaning my bottom jaw sticks out about seven millimeters further than my top jaw. So it is pretty much impossible for him to move the teeth in such a way to get a scissor bite where your top teeth go in front of your bottom teeth to cut the food that you're eating. I figured at the very onset of this that I was putting all this time and money into having the braces put on in the first place uh, that I might as well get as good of a solution as I could even if it meant having surgery and um, being laid up a little bit because at the end of the day I paid for the braces out of my own pocket so to pay that money and end up with a less than ideal final bite was didn't sit well with me so I'm Figured if, if it was possible to have the surgery and I could handle having the surgery, I might as well have the surgery. So what do I hope to get out of the surgery? Well, nice smile. To be completely honest, I've always been a little self-conscious of my smile and I'm kind of a goofy guy and being self-conscious of your smile at the same time, it's kind of hard. Additionally though, it has been determined to be medically necessary by my jaw surgeon and orthodontist because it does affect my eating. When I'm all done with this, there will be a video of me eating a sandwich. Anyone else out there who is in need of jaw surgery, you can probably relate to this, but if I'm eating a sandwich, frequently I can, I can bite through the bread, but frequently the cheese or frequently the meat will just like slide out because it's my teeth aren't fully cutting through it. So if I am able to bite through a sandwich without all the ingredients just like sliding on the sandwich on me, I will be a very happy camper. Um, one other thing I recently learned from my uh, oral surgeon that will probably be solved by the jaw surgery is I frequently wake up in the morning with a very dry mouth, so thirsty. And apparently that is because since my, my bite is misaligned, my mouth's natural state without any muscles being tense is basically cracked open a little bit so you can see that like I'm, I'm just resting my, my my jaw and my lips don't make contact like I can close my lips like but I meet I'm tensing the muscles to make that happen so at night when you're not really paying attention and my mouth's open I'm just breathing in air all night and that's why I wake up with a really dry mouth so hopefully that'll be solved by the jaw surgery as well. A few friends and coworkers that I've told about my upcoming surgery have expressed their concern and worry like that it's an intense or scary sounding operation. But to be completely honest, I'm kind of excited for it because it's just been a long time coming. I've had issues with my insurance last year, which I'll probably get into in another video, but I am more than ready for this surgery. It is, like I said, January right now. I got engaged in August, getting married in October. So having my surgery in February, uh, I should have plenty of time to heal, let my spine go down, and have my braces off by our big day. So yeah, the whole reason for me recording this series is partly for me so I can look back on it and see what my pre-surgery uh, bite looked like, my pre-surgery smile and whatnot. Uh, but also, I my, my primary goal here is to chronicle this for anyone else who might be in my situation, who might be told they need jaw surgery, and just so they kind of have an idea of what they will be going through, what 
what they can expect, how the healing process will go. So yeah, I, I hope this can be a valuable resource at the end of the series. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.